Welcome to the online training, Abandoned Water Wells, What are the Risks to My Well Water? It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. Make sure to take the quiz after you finish to see what you've learned. While no one knows precisely how many abandoned wells there are in the United States, it is a massive number. The Manual of Water Well Construction Practices says there are literally millions of such holes across North America. In some areas, open holes can be a serious threat to groundwater quality and personal or physical safety. To read the pictured article, just click on the hyperlink. There are several primary risks associated with abandoned water wells. First, abandoned wells can present a physical danger to both people and animals as pictured. The child above was stuck in a well for 58 hours before being rescued. Abandoned wells can present another primary health risk in creating a pathway for surface contamination into an aquifer being used by drinking water wells. In addition to abandoned water supply wells, many other types of boreholes and wells may affect aquifers, such as mineral exploration boreholes, seismic boreholes, dewatering wells, construction water wells, and monitoring wells. If you own a water well, there are several steps you should take to ensure that you are not at risk from an abandoned well or borehole. The first step is to survey your property for any abandoned wells or boreholes. This may not be as easy as you think and may require some detective work on your part. Possible signs of an abandoned well or borehole include pipes sticking out of the ground, small buildings that may have been a well house, depressions in the ground, the presence of concrete vaults or pits, and out of use windmills. Other hints or information useful in finding abandoned wells or boreholes include old maps, property plans, or property title documents, neighbors, and additions to an old home that might cover up an abandoned well. If you find an abandoned well or borehole, the second step you should take to ensure that you are not at risk is to find a qualified water well system professional to assess and possibly plug the well. A contractor may do additional checking, including a records check, for more information about the well in question or other abandoned wells. If the contractor determined that the well needs to be decommissioned to protect the aquifer, he may start by removing all material from the well that may hinder proper plugging. Such material can include pump parts, pitless adapters, pipe, wire, well screens, gravel, or other particulates at the bottom of the well. Once the borehole is properly prepared, including possible disinfection of the well, the contractor can use specialized grout to fill the well from the bottom up. The purpose of the special grout, which expands when cured, is to keep the surface water from working its way into the borehole and to prevent water from different levels of the subsurface from mixing. Here's a review question. What are the primary risks associated with abandoned water wells? A people or animals falling into the well, b a buildup of explosive methane gas, c damage to farm machinery that runs into the well, d the potential for contamination to enter the aquifer, e a and d, and f a and b. The answer is a and d people or animals falling into the well, and the potential for contamination to enter the aquifer. While the potential for people or animals to get stuck in or fall into wells is well known, what is not as well known is that abandoned wells often provide a pathway for many kinds of contamination from the surface straight into the aquifer, polluting groundwater that may be accessed by other drinking water wells. 
Here's another question. The primary way to find an abandoned well is to walk over your property with a metal detector. True or false? The answer is false. While this is one method of locating abandoned wells that are completely beneath the ground surface, there are many potential clues to abandoned wells. Among them are pipes sticking out of the ground, depressions in the ground, the presence of concrete vaults or pits, and out-of-use windmills. Here's one more question before we resume the lesson. If it is determined that you have an abandoned water well on your property, it is recommended that you pour concrete into the well from the top until it is filled up. True or false? The answer is false. A water well professional always should be used to decommission a well according to any applicable state or local standards. Prior to plugging, the water well professional may remove any material from the well, disinfect the well, and then pump a specialized grout into the well from the bottom up. Conventional concrete is not appropriate for plugging wells because it shrinks when it cures potentially creating gaps or cracks that, that could allow surface contamination to still enter the well. Besides eliminating health and safety risks, the goal of well decommissioning is to return the subsurface to as normal a condition as possible and protect the groundwater from contamination. You may wonder, what does it cost to decommission a well, and who is liable? The cost to decommission a well varies depending on factors including the depth and diameter of the well, the geology of the area, accessibility to the well, and the condition of the well. In one Midwestern state, Iowa, it is estimated that decommissioning drilled household water wells ranges from $600 for shallow, easily accessible wells to more than $3,000 for deep drilled wells greater than 500 feet in depth that also require the removal of pumps and well pits and disposal of all unwanted materials. Large diameter dug wells can be more expensive to decommission depending on the width and depth of the well. The property owner is generally liable for paying decommissioning costs. Some states have programs that will help pay the cost of water well decommissioning. To check on your state, visit www.wellowner.org, then click on Water Well Basics slash Well Construction Agencies. Furthermore, a property owner could be liable if someone is injured or something damaged because of an abandoned well on their property. Here's a final review question. Besides eliminating the risk of physical injury to people or animals that might fall into a well, the goal of well decommissioning is to protect groundwater and return the subsurface to as normal a condition as possible. True or false? The answer is true. Part of good groundwater stewardship is restoring the subsurface to as natural a condition as possible. That not only means protecting groundwater from surface contamination, it also means filling the borehole with suitable material, which, among other things, can prevent the loss of hydrologic pressure in certain geologic formations. For more information on water treatment technologies, visit the National Sanitation Foundation's website at www.nsf.org. NSF is an independent product certification lab that tests and certifies home water treatment systems. You also can visit the Water Quality Association at www.wqa.org. The Water Quality Association has an independent product certification lab that tests and certifies home water treatment systems. Go to www.wellowner.org to find out more about useful private well owner information tools including the private well owner hotline at 855-420-9355, the private well owner tip sheet, a monthly email of helpful water well tips available through wellowner.org, more online well owner lessons, 
and upcoming free well owner webinars.